Ready? Restart. Give me mommy lovies. Got your deodorant stuff on. Got your deodorant stuff on. As soon as you leave, I will email your teacher, okay? Well, obviously, the car didn't get picked up yesterday. So, I got things to do today. I got to take my son over and my mom. So, hopefully, we can get this car situated done and get it registered and all this good shit. So, you want to keep hurting people, you do that. Let's see how far that flies. Oh, it's good. Bus. Get your bag. Your backpack. <laughs> All right. I love you. Have a good day, okay? Have a good day, big boy. The moon up in the sky. Praise God. Hope is in front of me and my children. Peace be with us. No! No! Oh, oh, get the cat! The cat! The cat! <sighs> no, she was trying to uh, trying to go out the door. Darn right, no. Is she okay? Yeah, I grabbed her by her tail. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't even meow. She's been trying to sneak out that door. Oh, I just had a heart attack. She's been sitting here, and I, when I opened the doors, so I've been looking and seeing if she was going to run out that door or not. And, uh... Next time, I'm going to wake up. Wake up, my son. Oh, my God, I just had a heart attack. My cat almost darted out that door. You don't go out that door, Missy. You know better than that. You don't go outside. Come here. You don't go outside. No, 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 baby, you get hurt. There's ouchies out there. There's ouchies, come here. Come here, you don't go outside, baby, no. No, baby, no. Come here, come here. you don't, you're not the one that wants to go outside. Yeah, you never, but you've been looking outside, looking out that door. Oh, my baby, I would never just mommy's baby, too. It's Brandon's cat's the one who always wants to try to run out the door. Why are you trying to run out the door? It's hmm? mommy's baby. I love you. No, no, no. Oh, just had a heart attack. Hmm. That's my cats. My cats, babies. And um, a lot of the kids are coming from California. And guess who moved out to California? The heroin addict Heidi. And I was telling her, I said, the last time I saw Heidi was at my home group meeting. Um, right around my anniversary two, two years ago. In 2015, I saw Heidi. If I do believe. Yeah. 
2015, I saw Heidi, and she was getting, she, she took off to California. And I have a lot of people calling me from California lately. A lot of harassers from California. So she can go out to California and do her illegally practice, a paralegal practice, because that's what they do out in California. They do their own practice. They, they're allowed to do a lot more illegal shit than you do in New Jersey. So, and like I said, you can't come to New Jersey as a paralegal and practice. I mean, you can, but you don't, there's different rules and regulations as there are in California. Because the paralegals out in California like to try to do a whole lot different. They like to get over on you. So you guys, you paralegals, you want to call me and pretend you're somebody from California, you're going to get busted. You're all going to get busted. So and you can keep calling me and fishing me, fishing for information, but you're going to get busted. And I will tell you, and if I find out anything that I say, like Cindy Merck, oh, did you, did you subpoena Cindy Merck? For hearsay on what my, what happened with me and my with my my first husband, huh? Did you? Did you? Because Cindy Merck better not have spoke not one fucking word on the conversation I had with her on the telephone. Cindy Merck's the head of the Centen Sentinel here in Franklinville. So any conversations that I have on the telephone better not be in a courtroom. Or in a book. Because I will make sure they punish you for it. Because you're illegally and, and um, trusted fucking criminals. That's what it is. Trusted criminals. I tell you that right now. Off the record, she says. Well, I wasn't on the record in the first place. Asshole. I wasn't even on the record. I was having a conversation with her as a fucking friend. As a fellow neighbor. Because she lives here in Franklinville. So, if anything, so you guys can hurt my freaking family, I'm glad that's working for you. You go right ahead, and I'm going to keep soul searching and keep searching now. I've got things to do this morning. My son and I have things to do. Stay out of my house and stay away from my house. Oh, that's right. You don't know how to stay away from my house. Your bitch comes in and steals everything that she can. Stay out of my house and read all my notes. Take all my notes that I write in my books and you can shove them up your ass. I tell you that right now. I don't do no confessions on paper because there's nothing to confess because I didn't do anything wrong. You take those notes to appellate court and when I find out if any of those judges or any of those jury duty, jury, jurors or, or, or witness tamp or juror tampered, you're going down for it. I find out who them jurors are, you're going down because you're frauds. Pellet court paper only. Well, guess what? Any notes or anything that's written in my hand, that's because... I was doing it while, while I was in class, 99% of the time, venting about these assholes. So go right ahead. I will keep praising God. To my brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you for all the prayers and thoughts. Thank you. Amen. Hope is in front of me. Peace. Amen. Peace.